versa. So, but um, it was a good last day. It was a good last day. And uh, huge thanks to Sean, because afterwards... AKA Patterson, I thought I would come to you from the office, right, the day job. We have something important to discuss, another comic shop has closed. If you're new here, thank you for joining me. I am Peter A. DeLuca, AKA Pad69, and say with me, known through Philadelphia, PA, Europe, and the vast multiverse as your eclectic one, Sorry, people, we gotta unload the bag here because we got a busy day ahead of us. And, uh, yeah, I had to do some errands on the way here. So, so many of you, you guys crack me up. You guys have these wonderful, delightful opinions on the rise and the fall of the American comic book industry. More or less opinions on the fall of the American comic book industry. As I was recording my latest video, we had a two-day gap. Thank you, NFL Playoffs. While I was literally recording my latest video that I brought you, criticizing Jim Mitt, criticizing the obsessiveness of the Omnibuy collection, the collector, the people who purchase Omnibuys, uh, the people who force retailers to give them. And as stated in my comment section, I like my local retailer. They give me 25% off of Omnibuy. Right. Why don't you donate that extra 25% back to the retailer? Just give them the money. If a retailer gives you that much of a discount on an Omnibuy, it is clear they are losing money. So, as I was recording this video, a friend of mine went by uh, doing some... Uh, started texting me he was doing some back issue digging back issue shopping it's so funny how so many of you even claim that comic book shops don't have back issues every single comic comic book shop i go to maybe outside of one that's more of a collectible shop but most comic book shops have back issues this is a classification of a comic book shop these shops are what we're trying to preserve this is what we're fighting to preserve so as I was recording this video, basically had all these messages, messages roll in. I'll put them up on screen. He stops by, goes to a shop, calls the number. Where are you? Oh, I can be there in a couple, but we're closed. We're closed. That's one shop. The day after that video was published, South Tampa Comics. Uh, one of the guys that works from that, uh, I, I will play his video right now. So this individual uh, I follow on Facebook, uh, he does nothing but cry and complain. Uh, I think that's his coping mechanism for the horrors of this world. So we're not going to criticize him on that. But when we go through the Google Places feed or the Go Google Places images of this comic shop, they look legit. South Tampa, Tampa, money, 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 money. I don't know what the median income is. It's got to be good. That can't survive in Tampa. New shop. Didn't last maybe two years. Gone. So, so many of you have these opinions on the fall of the American comic book industry. With no knowledge, mind you, of how it was built and why. Why? See, see the why is a good factor when it comes to business. Because most people cannot explain the why for anything. The fall of the American comic book industry, the fall of these two stores within days of themselves, maybe some exaggeration there, let's just say a week or even a month. The fall is obsessiveness over omnibus, obsessiveness over non cheap reproductive or <laughs> oh, guys okay got, got break character no it is it is overly priced 
reprint editions, Omnibuy. And with those overpriced editions, we have a money allocation problem. Cheap reprints are no longer available. They're no longer there. Cheap introductory pricing for young, hungry comic book youth. Now, audience youth, meaning new people entering the marketplace because they saw something on Disney+. Plus. That is gone. Overly priced reprint editions. I'm even talking about these dumb artifact editions that reprint original artwork. That does nothing. This is money allocation. And money does not flow to favor dealers and retailers. Mostly, the, the distributors are the ones that pocket the most from these exchanges. Everything I just named thus far. Omnibuy, Artisan Editions, or comic book original idw reprint giant books editions which we have been critical with on this channel this messes up the cash flow for comic shops uh magic the gathering cards po uh, pokemon cards or pop uh, or pop figures really don't some shops i've seen suffer because they went all in on pops and you know pops have a very low price point so does magic the gathering so does pokemon uh, but there, the benefits outweigh the few. There's more benefits for a comic book shop to have some boxes of the newest Pokemon and Magic the Gathering. And yes, and some pops. The other thing that we must discuss. Manga. See, people who buy and read manga don't go into comic shops. They go into Japanese pop culture shops or your local Barnes & Noble or whoever else stocks a library of 28 something volumes of manga we know people are not really reading. People like to buy the first few volumes of these endless series of manga and the cycle continues. The purchaser, the mental model, the buyer of manga is not, it's not for our local comic book store. Yes, the one filled with those back issues. Too much YouTube. This I love this one. And we, we'll touch on this. Guys like, or channels, will say uh, accounts or personalities like Comics Explain, Comics Historian, and Comics Pop, where they tell you entire storylines panel by panel, de-incentivizing you from ever buying a comic book. And this even goes for a lot of comic book hardcore individuals, hardcore customers. You guys may want to shell out $30 to see if you enjoy Infinity Crusade, but you watch Comics Explained and maybe i rather not because it, with comics, you know, in channels like Comics Explained, what they do is they mask exactly what is a comic book. See, a lot of people watch those channels and they believe the comic books all have to be great, wonderful, a masterpiece to deserve their time. This is not the case. Most comic books are mid-level or below. There's only a few. Even if we gather Captain America being published since the 40s, going all the way until now, there is a short stack of Cap Captain America comics I would even recommend to you as a must-read. If you want the mid if you want the fun, if you want the, I don't know, the Michael Bay-isms and the Zack Snyder-isms, if you just want comic book boobastic, if you want to fall into the inconsistencies of comic book storytelling, how ridiculous it, it is, but then again, how highly emotional it is when it works. And if you want to, you know, make love to the character designs and make love to the color selection, and lick those covers because they are amazing up until the modern day. Yes, that is a comic book reader, fan, hardcore supporter. Most comic book series or characters have very little to offer when it comes to must-reads. That doesn't mean there's not must-reads and of the higher reading ranks of comic books. And a lot of them are one-offs, something like Watchmen, something like Miracle Man. Uh, you know, uh, Alan Moore comes in, you know, we're just using Alan Moore as an example because I'm always thinking about Alan Moore. But Alan Moore comes in 
uh, reformat Swamp Thing blows everyone's mind, and that somehow becomes, or <coughs> rightfully so, becomes the model of all future Swamp Things. That Swamp Thing has to be deep, cerebral, psychological. The thriller part of Swamp Thing disappears because Alan Moore is that effing good. This is why we crave the Cockrun, Burn, Claremont era of X-Men to return, to return, and to return again, never to actually ever return outside of Smith, Joe Madora, yeah, maybe Len Francis, you, we'll, we'll put him in there. But no, the comic book fan does not want to be told what's inside of a comic book. They just want affirmation on what they believe for comic books. Comics explain, comics pop, and comic historian further confuse what this interaction is. A lot of you might say, Pete, you are crazy as you guys did with the Omnibuy. But guess what? Cycling back to the original point. So many of you will tell me the cause of the fall of the comic book industry. They won't tell me the why, and you guys will act like it's not just one thing. Well, of course it's not. Whoever said it was just one thing. There's multiple things. And these is... And these are just some of the reasons. Now, there's inside industry practices of the big tip. Editorial mandates that have eroded, fallen off into the ocean, sank like the Titanic. Editorial mandates like, hey, what about continuity? That's really good for hardcore readers, so they can invest in double invest and triple invest and invest non-stop because they're following a continuous storyline that yes will contradict itself that yes will be hypocritical but nonetheless it is a threat now this thread i made a video on this previously even for marvel <coughs> ends with onslaught maybe we can extend that to house of m marvel original inception amazing fantasy 15 all the way to the x-men avengers onslaught chaotic crossover that was the gold of the era. DC, Crisis of Infinity Earths all the way to Flashpoint. From that point, pun intended, Flashpoint completely destroyed all future <laughs> reboots of DC, de-incentivizing anyone that invested in continuity. Wokeism is a part of the modern product, and wokeism destroys new traffic flow or repeated traffic flow. People that strictly just want the new things and don't want anything. They don't like reprints. This is a customer trait that I saw even when I was managing, running, and dominating the New Jersey comic book scene for the few years that I was part of that shop. Shop will go nameless. Maybe a future video on that coming. But the big idea, people, is as I've been recording these videos, shops have been closing, and they will go undocumented, and the reasoning for such will just be mindlessly debated because we all have the internet. But I am here to help you guys with a little bit of guidance and knowing what you can do to help rebuild it. Rock and roll, everyone. I have a bag of Wendy's to get into.